Hey guys, Tom here, and welcome back to some more Rollercoast Tycoon, where we're here in First Frontiers. Ah, uh, awesome little park. I'm trying to think what we're going to do today, to be honest. Hmm. I'm thinking we scenery the place up a little bit, make it look a bit prettier, while we're waiting for more rides to flop in on the research. Steel Rollercoast is going to be complete pretty soon. In fact, it's going to be complete in about three or four days. I'm going to build a candy floss stall down here while I'm here. Why not? People like candy floss. There you go. Add some candy floss and have some benches to sit on too. And some bins at either end because you guys are messy motherfuckers. Okay. Um, what I'm thinking is we're going to build something here. Maybe? What could we build here? We're gonna have a little area here actually, like a little uh I'll build the paths. Build the paths. So we're gonna have a little area here. I'll fence it all off and stuff and make it look cool actually this bit. Yes, yes. We shall have a little area here. Some strange little rides in the sort of forest. I'll have a twist. Shittest ride ever. It's not the shittest ride ever. But everybody thinks it's shit, nobody likes it. New attraction now available, Steel Roller Coaster. That's fucking sweet because those things are awesome. I like to call these ones Twister. I'm not sure why. Seems to attract more people. For some reason when you... Well, to me, I always felt like when you customise the name of the ride, people got a bit mental for it and sort of loved it a bit more, which is a bit weird. Anyway, we'll have some... Ah, oh shit, a little bit of random path there. Slide has broken down, who oh, no. Oh well, somebody will be there to fix it. Actually that reminds me, we've only got two engineers haven't we? I'll have another one. There we go. Uh, eight pence for that, sure thing. Um, yeah, okay, we'll make the path go like this. In fact, fuck it, we'll have a different type of path on here. We'll make a themed area around here, I think. Yes, that's what we'll do. We'll make a themed area. So, like, Alton Towers has its sort of scary area with that seven ride or whatever it's called. We'll have a scary area around here. Maybe like a haunted woods themed area. I like that. Cool. Open it up. Um, I will build some seats and I'll sort of make the pathway look a bit crazy. No, that doesn't need to be bent with your seats. Um, yeah, okay, let's theme up a bit. We'll have the sort of dirt. Oh, should we have like the... Oh, that looks cooler. That, or... That. Ah, the grass one looks a bit cooler, actually. Love that. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. I'll have like a little themed sort of scary area. And we'll fence it off and make it look super cool. No, actually... Would this work a bit better? No, it wouldn't. I'm wasting a lot of money here on just... theming this. No, I kind of like the dirt a bit better. I'm a massive dirt. It doesn't matter. We can always take loans out. And they, as I said before, don't have any effect on take loans out. Yeah, okay, I quite like that. Um, I built some fencing around it, some, some fencing like that. Stop people seeing in. So then they're like, oh, what are we getting into here? I think I'll build fencing around the whole bit. I know this is a massive waste of money, but I like my themed little areas here. Okay, and we'll build theming across this section here, because we need to. Don't need people seeing under the roller coaster or anything. Da da do. So obviously people will see this from the top of the roller coaster and think, oh man, that place is so sweet. Okay, that's cool. Um, we'll have 
because this is a scary themed area, we'll have a haunted house in the corner. In fact, before we do that, we'll whap it up a bit. Actually, we'll have the haunted house on a little sort of plinth there. And it can have this sort of corrosive, corroded looking. No, actually, you can have like a scary looking base on it like that. And that'll be for the entrance and exit there. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a cool ass area right here. Okay, where's Haunted Mansion? There it is. Turn it that way like so. Entrance can go here, exit can go here. Let's call it Haunted House. Charge 80 pence for you as well. Hey, why did you not go on that? What's your problem? I wanted to go on something more thrilling than Twister. Fuck you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, silly people. Okay. And that path can link up there. And the queue can go... You know, we could have like different colored queues, but I'm not that bothered. People will love that when it's written as well. Okay, so we need... Think. We need some sort of like crazy looking plant things knocking around. Like little cabbages or something. <laughs> that's what I was for. Anyway, so that's that. We'll have like a weird looking thing there. I don't know if that fits in with the theme, but I like it. Have some more weird bushes around. Give it a bit more texture. Like it's something that you eat. Texture. And we'll have like a... Let's see. We'll have like a fence around the haunted house to make it look scarier. Like it's land. Like, don't come in this area. It's private. Stay out of my haunted mansion and then you go into it and it's like, ooh, scary. Yeah, that's cool, I like that. Need a few more plants down here. Yeah, that's very cool actually. I like that a lot. But I'm thinking we need fences around the paths as well. Sorry if this gameplay's a bit boring. I am literally just like theming the area. Which is a bit lame. But I like my uh I like to have little areas like this in the park. Because I'm weird. We'll add something more to that later. Anyway, we did get... No, I guess a comment on our park entrance fee is really cheap again. There you go, 40 quid. Boom. Good luck. New attraction observation tower. Alright, fair enough. We'll have one of these sort of in the middle of the park here. We'll wrap it up to about that height. You can put them really high up actually, but I'm not, I'm not really that bothered. Observation does are really easy and quick to build. We'll wrap it up for 50p. I always like to call these the Polar Tower, because it reminds me of the Polar Tower that used to be in Markham way back in the day, and I love to paint it that colour. Which is one of those things I do. I'm not that green. Yeah, actually that green. Is that blue? Or oh, the dark blue. The dark blue. And we'll have white and green observation tower. Yeah. It looked something like that anyway back in the day. I mean, it doesn't exist anymore. It got taken down. At, well, the main sort of observation deck off it got taken down a long, long time ago. But um, I remember going to my granddad to Frontierland, it was called. Markham, and uh, they had a polar tower at the front of it, it was like an observation tower, just like that, and uh, yeah, it was really cool, I really liked, uh, really enjoyed Frontierland back in the day. Nobody will understand what I'm going on about, nobody probably knows where Markham is, but there you go. Okay, um, what are we doing now? We've built our little themed area, oh yeah, that's right, we got, we got the uh, new roller coaster, didn't we? 
There we are, steel roller coasters. Um, shuttle loops are sort of usual thing that you go for. That attracts a lot of people. It's really easy to build. You've got a small space to build in. Um, I'm thinking... What am I thinking? You see, there's all these pre-built ones, like roller coasters and stuff. You can see those. Polar bear, all that kind of shit. These are like ones that's been modded in, I think, because uh, mine's a totally legal version that I downloaded for money. <laughs> um, oh god, I'm gonna, have to <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this area now as well. Sorry guys, I have like, this huge obsession with doing this to these areas. I'm really weird. I know. Um, I like to sort of corner them off into their own little sections like this. Don't ask why, it's just... As I've said, it's one of them things. But it's in the game, and it's like one of the elements really enjoy. Like decorating the area. It's just cool. Well done, Roller Coast Tycoon. I used to play this a lot as a kid actually. This is one of the first games I got. I got it for one of my friends back at school way, way back and uh, obviously I, I copied the CD because I'm, I'm bad. But um, yeah, we, uh, we spent hours playing this. I didn't really like it at first, which is odd. But then uh, it really grew on me, and well, now it's one of my all-time favorite games of all time. Look how cool that looks. I love that. A little bit of hedge. I like to design the parks in a way that sort of. Well, I think everybody does when they play this game. But I, w I like to design the parks in a way. That, you know, I would, I would really enjoy going to it, sort of thing. So, you know, it looks really cool. Look, there's like a little hidden area and then you go into a miniature railway and choo, and you're on the other side of the park. Yeah, I'm weird. Anyway, I need some more toilets. Here. And I'm charging 10p on it. There we go. Boom. And I'll have a toilet up here as well. In the haunted area. Ooh. Toilet. Boom. That's gonna be ten feet. Yeah, it's gonna be ten feet. Swing ships broken down. Shit pipes. Whatever. I don't really like that there, but whatever. It'll be fine. Can't bother to replace it. Ah, oh, god, oh. we've got such a cool pack going on here. Anyway, I was going about. You know what? Fuck it. We'll build a log flame. Log flames are cool. We'll build a custom designed one too. Log flames I always find a bit difficult to build. Just. Mainly because they're pain in the ass. They're not very exciting to me, you know, because it just... When you're building a log flume, it, it sort of just... I don't know. It's a bit shit, really. That's all. They're a bit boring to me. I don't really like them very much. You see, like, oh, it's just a little drop and stuff, and we'll go back up again. Actually, the one thing I do like to do with these is sort of drop the floor a little bit, like that. And have it sort of... Okay, train, calm down. The train's going a bit mental, I think. Jesus Christ. Merp, merp, merp. Yep, alright, train, we understand you're a train. Too high for support? Why? Uh, the rain also makes a lot of stuff break down. Break it down. Break it down. Too high for supports. Suck my balls. It's not too high for your supports, actually. Splash. And we'll have it do another turn here and another uppy bit. I don't know, this is a bit crazy, this. I won't have it go too high. I'll have it come off here. Go down again. So that it can go underneath this stuff, hopefully. No, it can't. A uh, little one there, like that. Go down, like so. And do your little turn into the finish. 
Finish line, I was about to say, ah, what am I on about? An entrance here, an exit here. We'll call it the... Oh yeah, I got a good one. The Flume of Doom! Exclamation mark. Sweet, this can be like a quid, because people are going to love that. New ride. Oh, Dodgems is available. Dodgems are cool. It's another one of those rides that does music. See, the, the thing is I don't need to test this Log Flume either, because Log Flumes always work. You can't not... It's one of the things where you can't not screw it up. I mean, you can't screw it up. It's like physically impossible to screw them up. Oh, what the fuck am I doing here? I'm doing my perfectionist thing again. I want the paths to all be the right way and stuff. Uh, and how are we going to link this up? Ah, oh, dark. Oof. There it is again. Sorry. <laughs> Just got to get that. That. Okay. Um, yeah, how are we going to link this up? Let me think. Could link it up straight across there. Yeah, I'll probably do that. It's fine. Two up. Oh, why am I doing that? Why am I doing that? Handyman far, go away. And down. Up. And down. And, oh my god, that is quite a Venga Boys song. Oh dear. That's not cool. Um, and we will have some benches across the bridge. Come on, some benches down here. Uh, actually, no, we'll turn that into a no entry area. So that people just go fill those people straight into the ride. There you go. Get in there, son. Uh, we'll have. We have a burger joint. Um, where are we going to have them? Um, yeah, we'll have it in the middle of the park. Put my own some burgers here. We'll have some seats around that. Yeah, <laughs> you can tell I have these really weird sort of like things where I space them out in the right ways and stuff. But yeah, people love log flames. They totally love them, so that'll be a very popular ride. The only problem is with log flames, it takes ages for the logs to get around, you know. Yeah. Anyway, we got dodgems, didn't we? Dodgems, there we go. That can be another thing that we will build. Sort of in this area, I think. Yeah, there we go. Uh, didn't really think about this, did I? It's going to be a difficult one to link up. No, it's not actually. No, it's not going to be that bad. Build the exit here. Um, we'll just call it Dodgems. It can be... 80 pence. Fine. Um, and what else? What else? What else? Okay, yeah, we need to build an entrance. We'll build a path to it through here. Can't build there, tree in the way. Ah, oh, fucking trees, get out of the way. Okay, and entrance C can go along. Nope, one more. Go on, one more. There you go. Entrance can go along there. We have a whole little area for the other side of the park here. Little, like, area in the back of the park. Link that up. Open up Mr. Dodgeons, because people are going to be living that, because it's raining, so people will be bumming that right now. I kind of want to paint you a different colour. Brown and dark. Darker brown. Darker brown. That brown. No, black. Grey. No, black. Yeah, I like that, so it fits in that area a little bit better. Well, look, Haunted Mansion's getting tons of people. Why, not, why is nobody going to the Dodgems? Have I not linked that path up right now? I've linked it up right. No, people can get to it, that's fine. Merry go round's gonna get hammered. Logflame's gonna lose customers, as is uh, 
What's the popularity like on this ride actually now? Popularity... Ooh, 32%. Wow, that's not good. We'll have to do a advertising for a particular ride, I think. We'll have it for as many weeks as we can get. And we'll have it on the Spine Destroyer, which hopefully get up a little bit better. Might be to do with the price, actually, but no, people seem to be... Well, that was a bit of a waste of money. Because we were down to far, far eight. That's fine. We're going to be running on empty a little bit again. You're looking for a toilet, Mr. Dude? Oh, some sick. Sick. Where's our handy dudes? Handy men, where are you at? Who's nearest? Oh, I don't know. Oh, you're going across a bridge. No, you're getting picked up and put there. Clean it up, you bastard. Do your job. Why have people just been sick everywhere down here? Why? Stop. We need more handymen, clearly. I'll have one more. You could set, I could send them to patrol this area, but really... There is, the path system isn't yet that complex where I have to set people to come, you know, go different ways and stuff. I don't have to bother setting them routes or anything. Okay, again, because I'm really weird and I like my theming sort of thing here, I'm going to have this all fenced off with little rope fences. Tower in the way. Shut up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm very strange with these uh, areas like this where I like to theme. So, Rollercoaster Tycoon is the fucking coolest thing ever. Let's see, let's see. Um, You know what, I think our pack's doing alright for now. Look at that, that's it on massive zoom. You can sort of just see everything. It's a little bit better. There we go. Oh, I love that miniature all with there. What's the popularity like on this? 16%. Let's just whack the price down to 50p then. Hopefully that'll... Actually, what are people's thoughts on it? See, I love this. You can see what people are going... I want to go more frilling, some more frilling, some more frilling, blah, blah, blah. Miniature all is really great value, actually. So now you're going to wipe back up to 80 pence. So they won't complain about the price, so uh, I'll just alter it like that. <coughs> Sorry. Well, there's people's thoughts on the Spine Destroyer. Spine Destroyer was great! Good, your spine hopefully got destroyed. New ride attraction available. Wooden mouse roller coaster. No, I don't really like those. They're very difficult to design. Steel mini roller coaster. Hmm. Yeah, okay. We'll have a go at building a steel mini roller coaster. I find these ones a bit more. These are a bit more challenging to design also, I think. Too steep. The thing I like about these though is you can shimmy them up like this. And have them in like a spirally thing. Only problem is with these, if you catch loads of speed with these things, you're gonna kill people. Going like that. No, we won't. We won't have it going like that at all. Lovely off here. Have you going like that? And again, we're not gonna have you going like that, are we? Silly fucking me. You can go up again. And you can go down again. And then you can go that way. Um, and you can go straight forward, please. Have a little less spin to the right. That might kill people. Let's find that. Actually, that is going to kill people. That's going to kill like massive whiplash coming out of there.
No, oh, roller coasters in the way. Why are you with uh, that silly thing? Let's have a look. Get rid of that bit in the middle and just go straight for the. Could just continue the turn, I guess, and then pull it round. Okay, what am I trying to do here? Yeah, alright, that'll work. I like that. And we'll have it going back up again with a chain. Stop it yet. Go down and round like so. And level off so you don't hit that roller coaster. Go down again. And round to that side. You can't do that, can you? Why not? Down and no. That's annoying. Okay, good. Down and Ah, you bastard. Down and... Ah, can't do it. Motherfucker. Level him off, level him off. Have him curl to the... No, what the fuck am I doing? Oh, I can't design roller coasters for poop. What am I... Stop. 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 No, oh, turn like that. And go down a bit, then level off a bit, then turn like... Stop, and turn like that. Finish the turn. Go down. Go down. Level out, go back up. Level out. Slide to the right. Slide to the right. Take it back now, y'all. Won't help this time. Yeah, I just quoted DJ. That's what the fuck it's called. Cha-cha slide. I am a crazy motherfucker like that. Cha-cha real smooth. Dim -ba -da -dim -dim -dim. Ah, fucking hell, that's not wrong with me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. There we go. That's built. Wap you up to 120, because people are going to love you. Hopefully. I won't build the entrance and exit yet until I've actually tested it because it might do something really crazy and kill everyone. But that's just something that might happen and if it does happen we'll have to deal with it. it does seem to be an awful close to that polo top of there, wow. Looks like it's even clipping through it slightly. No, eh, maybe not. Go on. That's right. Oh shit, the spine destroyer is broken down. Don't do the mega blowy uppy thing that you might do. If the station breaks failure, that would be really bad. Okay, before you do anything else and start killing yourself, let's just put it down to like five cars a train. Test you out again. Yeah, what's wrong with you? Tell me now. Safety car, that's fine, that's fine. The dreaded station brakes failure was not a bun one's not there. Because that one's on where it keeps coming and it doesn't lose speed here and it crashes into the station, everybody dies and nobody's a winner. Actually, while I'm here, I'm gonna hire a few new security guards because the park's getting a bit big now and I don't wanna have that kind of shit going down. So what I'm hoping is that that little train is going to have a bit more momentum. Probably won't because it's smaller. But it means you can get over that hill a bit cl sort of quicker and come down here. That is definitely not good right there. It's not that bad actually, it's a bit tame really. I do need to replace that bit though with a banked sort of thing here. And to replace you with a banked sort of thing too. No, just a banked thing. Just a banked thing. Roller coaster in the way. What are you on about? Oh, did I make it go down there? Oh, I made it go down. It's weird. That's why. Okay. Fine, fine. 
fine with that. Still looks a bit dangerous, but whatever. I'd say it's safe to open now. Uh, let's just build some exit and entrances here. I don't want to make a queue length longer because people are going to love this one too. So I will. I'll get rid of these paths first. Stop people going a bit crazy. There we go. And we'll call it... Raging... Bull. Yeah, I don't know why that came into my mind, but it did, so there we go, that's what it's called. Open him up for business, we'll paint him in a minute, I just want to alter a few things here. We need an en no entry sign on this section, no entry, nobody come in there. We need seats across here, because otherwise people are going to chunder everywhere. And we're going to paint him, paint him, what colours are we going to paint him? Red. Red, gonna be really boring, we're gonna have black supports. Trends are all gonna be crazy yellow. Yeah, actually I don't mind that, that looks kinda cool actually. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna play with that. Still haven't got any testing done for it yet. Um Anyway, that's gonna have to be it for this episode as well. And we got new design vehicle log cars for the mini roller coaster, which I might actually replace it with, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.